Fight number two, also in the middleweight division. Uplava Muglo. In the blue corner, Uros Batalo. Gorilla MMA Series 36 Serbian Battle Championship. The next fighter making his way down to the cage, Juros Batalov. Batalov fighting out of Serbia. Making his debut here this evening. And again, this will be a middleweight contest. Interesting. When you see these fighters coming out, making their first, second fights, they will have been looking on at that very first fight with the two middleweight fighters. I'm sure the matchmakers again looking to maybe match the winner of this fight with the winner of the previous fight. So making your debut, all sorts of nerves and thoughts going through your head. I know they all have been sat there watching that first fight, but also trying to get focused, ready to make his own debut here. Opponent making his way down to the red corner. Strahina Milovanovic. Milovanovic, a very experienced fighter. Nine fights now as a professional, but he's not had the greatest of success. Now a look over his record. You see the win coming by Achilles Lock. So a sharp submission to the legs. His losses coming by TKO and KO. So this suggests certainly Milovanovic likes to grapple and not to strike. Now, Yuris Batilov making his debut. We've not seen much of him. However, I'm sure he will be coming out here looking to land heavy early on. Milovanovic oh, weighed in at 82.5 kilograms, so nicely inside the middleweight limit. from Serbia representing family fight team he weighs in at 84.2 kilos this is his pro MMA debut Urosh Batalo in the red corner also from Serbia representing Tio Jin's MMA fighting team he weighs in 82.5 kilos. One victory, seven defeats. Strachinja Milovanovic! Sudia, Lomechu, Vladimir Batralica. Gentlemen, we've been through the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. When I say stop, I want you to stop the fight. Touch loves into your corners. Thank you. Gorilla MMA Series 36 Serbian Battle Championship. Middleweight contest between Batalov in the blue. Milovanovic in the red. Milovanovic 
the taller of the two. Definite height and reach advantage, but his record indicates he does not like the strike. And let's see what happens here. He's come out assertive, took center of the cage. Working battle of around the outside. Big shots coming in there, into the clinch. Lovanovic with the overhook. Defending with his back against the fence. With his only win coming by submission, will he try to pressure this to the floor himself? At the moment, Batlov using that head, trying to release the left wrist. He's got the inside bicep control now. Will he drop down for the leg again? Nice pressure and control there against the fence. And then backs off, big left hook. Again, Milovanovic takes center, works the knees. Looking confident. Throws the low kick in. So for someone who's lost his fights from strikes, from knockouts and TKO, he does look very competent with the striking, working, using his distancing well. If or maybe carrying his chin a little bit too high. As the taller fighter, you think he'd get the chin down. We're looking through his eyebrows, it's the knockout shots generally land on the chin when the chin's up high. You see his posture there, just maybe leaving it hanging out a little bit too much. But at the moment, Batilov not making the most of it and the low kicks again coming in. So we're halfway through the first round. Batlov gets the takedown now into the full guard. Inside bicep control then into the overhook. So in this position now, Batlov working in the center of the cage, it'd be nice if he's gonna work this ground and pound style to turn the head and then move him towards the fence. When you have a tall guard player like Milovanovic lying on his back, long legs, he can work those legs up quite easily for triangle chokes, arm bars. So for a shorter fighter sitting in the guard working the mixed martial arts ground and pound. A sensible move is to turn him onto the fence, put the head against the fence and make it much harder for him to get his legs up high. There we see Lovanovic trying to lock up the left arm. Working those hands up, then he tries to push. So he was working towards an arm bar on the left arm and then catches the right arm looking for the triangle there. Punches coming down. And Batilov, who's edging closer to that fence. Hands around the back of the head. Can be dangerous in the full guard. Lovanovic trying to get the legs up high. Control the head, looking for that armbar now on the on the right arm, sorry. Eighteen seconds left. Counting down. So I think we can already see the styles of these two fighters. 
That's Love looking for the takedown, but he doesn't look to pass guard. He's looked to ground and pound from inside the guard. Lovanovic looking for the submissions, trying to get his legs up high. So an interesting round to score there as we watch the replay. Lovanovic controlled the striking, controlled the distance. On the second attempt, he was taken down, but taken down into the full guard. From there, he tied up the arms, didn't get hit with much significant through the middle and was working to try to get submissions. It was definitely a 50-50 match on the floor between the attacks from submission from Milovanovic and Batlov working the ground and pound. But the strikes and the effective strikes early on, I think, edged that round slightly to Milovanovic. Pobednik, technickim knockoutom u prvoj rundi. Winner by TKO in the first round. Urosh Batalo! So their retirement between rounds gives that for a technical knockout.